We're uh, going to keep track of that, of course, I have OC as we head into the weekend. Outside right now, temperatures mostly in the 20s. It's a little cloudier with the snow showers up around I-69, so it's slightly warmer in the low 30s. But in Arbor's 26, Detroit's at 27 right now, only 23 in Adrian. So all of this is moving from west to east as we go along. And it looks like it'll keep doing that as we uh, go through the next few hours. It's going to be concentrated up here at I-69. There'll be some more action possibly in other spots as well. So uh, around I-69, basically north of M-59, you could get an inch uh, tonight still. And then other spots you might get a half an inch. And again, there's a little bit more to come. Visibility overall is not bad, but inside those heavier snow showers, especially the ones north of M-59 up around I-69, those visibility could come down to about a quarter of a mile in the heavy ones. So if you run into that and you kind of see it coming with your lights up, make sure you slow down and take it easy. You could put a quick coating on the roads there. All right, again, the temperatures mostly in the 20s here. Wind chills are worst. Uh, it feels like 15 in Detroit, 17 in Pontiac, 13 is a wind chill factor now in Ann Arbor. It's picked up just enough to really be noticeable. I was out for dinner, stopped, got, got a little gas, and all of a sudden I'm like, Okay, this is taking too long. So it'll get worse tonight and tomorrow, and wind chills will be down the single digits, I think, tomorrow around lunchtime. So keep that in mind as the wind picks up gusts to 30 miles an hour. Futurecast, as we go overnight tonight, again, things kind of fall apart. Then tomorrow in the afternoon, here's 3 o'clock, another little wave coming through. That one's a bit more organized, certainly a bit more widespread than what's going on with the scattered showers now. This could give us another inch pretty easily as we go through late Friday and then Friday evening. Notice at midnight or so, it's about done. Here's the Saturday situation. This cold front sags just to our south. There'll be real cold air right at the ground. And then some moisture gets started. So in the afternoon, we can pick up some snow. But when the moisture increases up and over that front, we have an opportunity to get some rain, perhaps, falling down into our area. And if that's the case and it's too cold, then we would have some freezing rain. So that's a possibility. And then as the cold air kind of takes over overall, back to Sunday, we're back to snow. So we can get a little accumulation Saturday, a little accumulation Sunday. And in between there again, Saturday night, maybe there's some iciness. Uh, we'll keep track of that as we get closer and let you know. All right, overnight tonight, we're down in the low 20s in most cases, even 19 in Ann Arbor. And then tomorrow, it's upper 20s and lower 30s. It's a little bit colder north and south. We'll stay in those low 30s through the weekend. Then next week, low, low to mid 20s for highs and even some single-digit lows. That's too many lows. It's pretty cold. <laughs>